Hi, it's Ray Mills from Excel and VBA Craftsman. Today I'm going to go over some custom Excel functions for IEX, for the IEX trading API. Now, um, everybody knows that the Yahoo Finance API is, is relatively uh, limited. It was once uh, very powerful and included a lot of data, but they've taken that down. So the IEX seems, IEX seems to be stepping in and does provide a lot of information. So um, I'm going to demonstrate some functions that I've developed, and we'll talk about um, what they are and what they do and why I did it the way I did. Okay? So this first one that we're going to show is what I call IEX quote. Um, I'm just going to do the first one so you can see how it works just essentially. Okay, so we'll go here and we'd say formulas. And we'd say insert function and user defined, right? So IEX quote, and let's do that. Okay. So my IEX quote comes up. And I'm going to pull this over here, please, if I can. And the first thing is they want to know the ticker. So in this case, uh, we're going to go here and we're going to say the ticker. Oops. Come on, baby. Join me here. There we go. The ticker is this, right? And I'm going to hit F2 and I'm going to lock it to column B. And as you know, locking is done in Excel with a dollar sign. So column B is locked. So it'll always stay column B, but the row can change, and that's what we want. Okay. The market data type, okay. There are there are over 40 of them. So let's just and I have them going across here horizontally. Let's just pick the first one. The company name, right? Now we know it's going to be row six forever. So we want to we want to limit row six, right? We want to lock it to row six. Oops, that was wrong. Dollar sign six, and that should do it. Okay. Now the last thing is the secret code. Now I'm not going to show you that, <laughs> but uh, uh, all I need to do is point it, and I have it here. And just hang on one second, and I'll show you, and then I'll hit enter, and we'll see what comes back. Okay. So let me stop this for a second. All right, I, I entered the secret code, and you'll see it's here, IEX quote, H3. See, there's my secret code, but it's hidden from you. That's just because it is private data, and I, I get a limited usage, and I can't be sharing that. Okay, so nothing came back. Whoa, well, the reason is because I only want the server to go out one time, and I want to, I want to do two things. I only want the server to come out and go out one time, get, get all this information for this first stock. So, you know, primary exchange and all the way across and calculation, latest source, latest price, open, close, close time. There's just a ton of information, and you can go through it. I don't need to do that. But uh, I give you a list of everything on my web page. And you can find this on uh, www .excel and VBA Craftsman. And uh, Excel Custom Functions for IEX Trading API is the, is the actual page. So you look for that. Okay? So, again, I've, I put that there. Now, why, why did I do that? I want to control the number of times that I go out to the server. And you know that when you use a function, and if you use a lot of functions on a page, the page can get bound down, uh, recalculating all the time. So I control the recalculation. I only allow it to recalculate when you hit this fetch market data. And boom, there it came back. 3M company, and you saw how fast that was. Now, I want to copy this across. Hopefully I did this right. Oh, let's just make sure I locked that secret code. I did not. Aha! So we need to make sure we have the secret code locked. H3 doesn't change. The secret code's always there, okay? They call it a token, by the way, not, not a secret code, but it's, it's actually what it is. So I'm going to go over until I get to the end, and wow, there's, there's so many of them. Okay, I'll hit enter. And you see, again, they came back with zeros because I didn't say go out and get it. So when I recalculate, bam, how was that, huh? And there's the information all coming back. It's wonderful, right? So I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to only show you two of these today. This is a uh, two that because I built this, and it, again we we offer it. Uh, you can contact me if you're interested in this, and you'll find that it's you know you don't re really need to redo that, you redo it. Um, we've gotten we can do it for uh, all of uh, the API calls. So there it is, and we've done it for 3M Company, J.P. Morgan, and the Southern Company, and there's their prices, previous close. Latest update, latest price. And it even tells you where that price came from. Now, I, that was the first one. Now, I think you also need to keep track of your usage so you get a sense of where you are at any time when you're doing this. Now, 
as a personal user, what I would use it for is basically to keep track of my portfolio of stocks, a few stocks I have, and, and uh, so I could update it, press the button and update it and say, okay, what do I have? And, you know, it, it has full dividend information and all that, so when can I expect my next dividends? And I can monitor those and track them and make sure I'm getting what I, what I should be getting. Anyway, so this second um, function that I've created is called IEX Usage, and it gives, brings you back the usage data on uh, each one of them. So each one of these trips out to call is, is one message, right? Use going out to the server, right? And um, so you can see it works, right? So let's add the second one, and we want to keep track of how many times, how many messages we used and how, what our message limit is, what our budget is. So, and I actually wrote this summary here, which gives you um, combined information, and you may only just need that for all you got, for all you need, okay? So, I'm going to install it. Let's, let's do it again. Let's insert uh, an IEX usage again. We say okay. Now the usage types. I'm going to I'm going to say it's right here, right? And we want to lock that column B again. So we hit F2, we go across, we stick our dollar sign in. So we've made the absolute column to be B, okay? That's done. Oh, now we need to add the secret code. I'm sorry. And I'll do that off screen, okay? Okay, you see I've added the secret code, uh, the secret token. And you can see that I locked it in. I made it the absolute position H3, okay? So let's hit enter and see what happens. Again, nothing's going to happen because I have the same thing. I have it controlled. Now, you should know that uh, querying message usage has no data weight, which means it's free. But I, I, again, I do it carefully, so I, only go, I minimize my trips to the server. And if we hit the button, the magic button's going to go out and get all our information. Oh, there it is. So if you look at the, the one that I wrote, the summary one is, is my custom one. So I have an allotment of 500,000. I've used 242, which is less than five hundredths of a percent. So I'm, I'm really not using much compared to what they, they offer. Um, so if you're interested in this, you can contact me and, uh, and, and we can figure out how many of these you need and the cost. So again, it's Ray Mills with the Excel and VBA Craftsman. And this is Excel Custom Functions for IEX Trading API. And you can find those both on my, you can find, the, I like, this is my website and you can find the page here. Okay, thanks.